feeling sluggish after even small tasks? Waking up less than refreshed? Constantly glued to your seat? Fret not! In this video, I've got five real reasons behind your energy slump and how to kick it to the curb. No more delay, let's dive in! Hey there, friends! Welcome to DN Fit. Think of it like you're trying to enjoy your favorite movie, but the screen remains blank. Frustrated, you investigate and discover the power cord isn't plugged in. Once you connect it, the movie plays seamlessly. Just like that. Understanding the cause makes solving the issue a breeze. Fatigue isn't just a mental puzzle. And in this discussion, we'll unravel five real reasons behind your perpetual tiredness. One, overeating. Ever noticed feeling lazy after a big meal? It's like your body's late to the party, just like those delayed OTPs. Turns out, constant munching and overeating make your body work extra hard to digest. This drains your energy, leaving you feeling low and sluggish. Want a quick energy fix? Try eating at set times with smaller portions. Challenge yourself to stop when you're comfortably full. Give it a shot for a day. Smaller meals can give you a surprising energy kick. According to Ayurveda, our ancient life guide says to cut down on heavy hitters like cheese, cream, and other deep-fried foods for a natural energy boost. And here's a smart trick our Ayurveda buddies have been doing forever. Intermittent fasting. Finish dinner by 7 p.m. and breakfast is at 10 a.m. the next day. That's a good 15 hours without food. Letting your body take a nice break. It's like giving your body a mini vacation and guess what? It's super easy! Loving the content? Before we dive into the next health gem, let's spread the love. Smash that like button and subscribe to our channel, ensuring you stay tuned for more enlightening videos. Your support keeps the wisdom flowing. Too poor sleep quality. Ever wake up after a supposedly solid eight hour sleep and still feel like hitting snooze? You're not alone. If you're yawning and already tired, your sleep quality might be taking a nosedive. But how did this happen? Well, it's not just about the hours you sleep. It's also about when you catch those restful hours. Both modern studies and Ayurveda point to the gold hours of 10 p.m. to midnight as prime time for quality sleep. You know that saying, an hour before midnight is worth two after. Turns out there's some truth to it, so try to wind down early. Now, here's the plot twist. Certain foods, especially coffee, can mess with your sleep quality. Caffeine is a sneaky one. It has a half-life of six hours. That cup of coffee at 4 p.m., at 10 p.m., there's still half a cup hanging around. And at 4 a.m., a quarter cup is still there, disrupting your deep sleep vibes. Best bet? Cut off the coffee supply after 12 noon. Another sleep spoiler is a heavy dinner. Your body craves rest at night, but a big meal makes it work overtime to digest. So even after a seemingly long eight-hour sleep, you wake up feeling anything but rested. Let's decode the sleep game and aim for those rejuvenating restful hours. Three, being inactive. How do we spend most of our day? No prizes for guessing, sitting. Whether it's on the bed, in the car, on a chair, or the couch, we're sitting all day. Prolonged sitting weakens and tires the body. Given our current lifestyle, daily exercise is non-negotiable. Now, some might think, if we're already tired, won't exercising make us more exhausted? Well, it's quite the opposite. Just like not using your brain makes it dull, not moving your body daily makes it lethargic. Today, it's proven that keeping the body active pumps more blood, oxygen, and nutrients to the organs, producing more mitochondria in cells, the creators of energy. The result? Baseline energies increase. It's like starting a task with 10 energy units without exercise, but with it, you're at a robust 24 units. Exercise doesn't have to be a massive task. Just 15, 20 minutes of moderate intensity exercise can spike your energy levels. Whether it's a couple of quick sprints, 10 minutes of jumping jacks, light strength training at home, or even Surya Namaskars, anything that gives your body a boost. And here's a pro tip. Do it in the morning for an energetic kickstart to your day. For lack of prana, the life energy that keeps the body strong and alive is called pran shakti, or simply prana. We've all felt this during recovery from a fever. Everything seems fine, but we're still not back to our usual selves. The yogic system emphasizes eating high pranic foods. Junk food won't cut it. It won't strengthen our bodily tissues. Even the way we handle food matters. Refrigerating and reheating reduce its pranic energy. 
Meat, being lifeless, can't bring vibrancy. Any food left open loses prana, much like an open tap. The magic word here is fresh. Fresh seasonal fruits, fresh juice, and freshly cooked homely meals supply the body with high pranic energy. Another major prana sapper is stress. Often, it's not physical exhaustion, but emotional and mental stress that drains our pranic energy. Be it relationship woes, workplace tension, financial instability, or social isolation. Stress is like carrying loads of luggage. Can you walk more easily empty-handed or with a heavy load? You know the answer. These stresses become burdens we carry throughout the day, depleting our pranic energy. So, how to boost prana? There are three major sources, air, sun, and the ground. The quickest refresher is the air. Spend just 15 minutes doing pranayama, preferably in an open space in the morning, and your body will be energized almost instantly. Next time you feel tired, take a pause and take a few deep breaths. You'll experience a sudden gush of energy. That's the power of prana. Five, low blood count. Sometimes, despite doing almost everything, that persistent tiredness refuses to budge. Enter the potential culprit, low blood count. This basically means you have a low number of healthy red blood cells to ferry oxygen to body tissues. And without ample oxygen, feeling energetic is a distant dream. Ayurvedic scriptures highlight foods that effectively boost red blood cell count. And I've picked three winners. First up, we have the powerhouse combo of dry dates and milk. Then, there's the vibrant beetroot carrot juice. And finally, the jewel-toned pomegranate. No need to overload your diet. Pick one and make it a daily habit for 30 days. Your blood count will be the least of your worries. Challenge yourself with a blood test before and after to witness the transformation. Quick summary. To avoid feeling worn out and drained, moderation is key. Avoid overeating. Consider a smaller portion than usual. Lighten the load. Reduce intake of heavy foods and practice intermittent fasting. Choose high pranic foods. Opt for fresh, high pranic foods. Avoid processed or refrigerated meals. Combat stress. Manage stress levels. Take 15 minutes for yogic pranayama to replenish prana. Stay active. Avoid prolonged sitting. Take short breaks. Find 15, 20 minutes for morning exercise. Prioritize sleep. Aim for quality sleep between 10 p.m. to 12 midnight. Avoid caffeine afternoon and heavy dinners. Boost blood count. Include foods like dry dates milk, beetroot carrot juice, or pomegranate to increase red blood cells. Take charge, follow these tips, and witness a surge in energy, enabling you to achieve your goals. This is the promise of evidence-based modern science and ancient Ayurvedic wisdom. If you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Your support means a lot.